All right, guys, uh, we're back with another review, uh, this time of the Beretta ARX100. Gonna make this short and sweet because I'm sure you've seen the thousands of videos out there. I'm gonna quickly discuss some of the features, some of the things I do like, some of the things I can't stand, some of the things I hope the aftermarket fixes. Uh, first off, it comes in a box. Who cares? It also comes in this uh, padded case uh, that uh, displays the Beretta logo as well as ARX100. Um, you will get with it your uh, instruction manual, your owner's manual, and your warranty. Anyway, the case is uh, very well made. It can be locked uh, where the zippers come together. Get into it here. All right, this is what you're going to find when you open the case. So uh, it does have straps to hold the rifle in tight. Um, not quite so much with the buttstock, but hey, uh, the one thing I do like you can leave the buttstock uh, completely open and it still fits in the case. You do not need to collapse it for it to fit. Um, let's get it open for uh, those who uh, are worried about safety checks here let's safety check it up oh, I just hotted it up so yes it is loaded uh, here's my safety my finger um, anyway things I like things I don't like um, the stock feels good some people say it's too short um, I like it it's got a good length to pull for me um, the mag release on the left side of the gun doesn't want to release magazines I did the other side so uh, not really sure if that's supposed to loosen up or what that's supposed to do but uh, that doesn't work so uh, I had to use right side only um, thank God I'm not left-handed um, I'll leave the charging handle on the on the left side ejecting out the right side because again I'm right-handed uh, things I hate these sights these are the most god-awful sights since Magpul came out with those ridiculous uh, backup iron sights. If you like those Magpul backup iron sights, I'm sorry. Uh, you need Troys or something better. These make the Magpuls look like HK sights. Uh, these are horrible. Um, just horrible. In every aspect, they're horrible. Uh, another complaint I have... Uh, is the charging handle. Every time I rack this charging handle back, I hit my finger right here on the uh, ejection buffer. Every time. Um, is it painful? No. But, uh, I mean, it's not comfortable. As you can see, it is loaded. Um, stock folds nicely and locks into place very well. Deploying it is a little more difficult, but can be done. Another thing they sent was the sling and uh, while it is an awesome sling and is actually if I can get it out I don't know if you can focus in on that it's a condor sling so it's a it's a quality sling uh, however uh, nowhere in the instructions did I see how exactly you're supposed to put this thing on it has an adjustment for where you're wearing it you can pull it to tighten it up or pull it this way to loosen it up so I like that feature uh, it is a two-point a lot of people complain it doesn't have QD mounts. Uh, to me, it doesn't bother me. Uh, you're about to see uh, first shots. Um, one more stupid complaint. Uh, people can like this or hate this or whatever. The magazines. Um, I spent $1,600 on a Beretta rifle, and the magazines are not marked Beretta. Uh, it sounds stupid, but you know when you're spending this kind of money on a rifle you kind of expect people to put their name on it you know you want to be proud of it um beretta didn't do that so they failed there uh anyway so uh we're going to take first shots with this um using these uh these iron sights i'm just going to pop some shots off in the woods just see uh recoil impulse and what i think of it um and i'll report back to you grab my ears
All right. That was not a malfunction. I just decided I was tired of shooting. Uh, some are complaining about the triggers on these. Um, and granted, the trigger is quite heavy. Uh, some people's estimates are about 10 pounds. Um, I don't personally have a trigger scale, so I haven't measured it. Uh, I would put it in there, uh, 9, 10 pounds. Uh, very little creep. The problem with it being it's all plastic. Uh, the interior of the ARX100 uh, is all plastic. Uh, the only thing that's metal is the actual piece that strikes the firing pin on the bolt carrier. Uh, that's it. Um, the rest of the entire lower, other than the springs, are plastic. Uh, from what I understand, they are. Some of the aftermarket companies are looking, hopefully Geisley, um, is looking to make a metal uh, replacement kit. I hope that's the case um, because this is, it's fine, but uh, it's, it's fine for uh, accuracy that, that you're ever gonna get uh, from a battle rifle. But if you wanna do any longer range shooting, uh, this is just not for you. Uh, anyway, overall impressions, I really like the rifle. Um, is it worth $1,600? Because that's the big question. Um, it's hard for me to tell. Uh, it's a subjective question. And time will tell as to whether uh, it really comes into itself. Really like the rifle. Looking forward to the new barrels they're supposed to be coming out with. Uh, do plan on SBRing this and getting a 10 and a half inch barrel on it. Uh, because I hate that 16 inch barrel sticking out there. Um, probably we'll be getting a uh, Cerakote job done to it um, and also replacing the uh, flash hider which comes with an A2 flash hider we'll probably be replacing that with uh, some sort of muzzle brake um, but other than that uh, guys that's that's my very short and sweet to the point review on this rifle um, thanks for watching